All right, hey everybody. Um, so if you guys, uh, if you, some of you might remember from a few years ago, Twitch.tv did something called Twitch Plays Pokemon. And if you haven't heard of that, uh, the basic premise is that uh, users could collaboratively control a game together via chat commands. Um, and so I see a few of, a few of you have already joined. Uh, I'm going to join myself, uh, the real Patrick, and oh, all right. <laughs> Patrick. Right, so names have to be unique. Uh, I'm also going to give myself this color so you guys can easily see who I am. All right, so uh, some of you guys might have already started clicking around. Uh, I have some instructions on how to play. Uh, I have some emotes available. Uh, you could change your color and your name freely. So when I entered this project, I was thinking, uh, I can't make a fancy game and the fancy chat, so I'm going to have to kind of pick out the core features of each that generate the experience that I want. Um, you guys are probably kind of familiar with the idea that depending on what your product allows your users to do, uh, that definitely shapes the kind of culture that forms around it. Um, yeah, so I've included some little full stack related emotes uh, and other things like that. And so basically, this just works via WebSockets real time. And what I'm going to try now is I'm going to start trying to play the game. And if you haven't read the instructions yet, uh, basically, if you type up, down, left, or right, you should be able to uh, contribute commands to the actual game. Uh, there's going to be a player that starts right here in the middle. And I'm going to spawn a bunch of items that everybody is going to have to pick up. And I'll continue explaining while we play. All right. So here we go. Uh, you have 30 seconds, by the way, to collect all the technologies. I've kind of modeled this after, I guess, boot camp. Um, the idea is to try and collect every single technology and learn them all uh, before time runs out. Uh, yeah, nice. We got some, got some good activity in here. And so basically, the way this works is that there's a Redux store on the back end that's accumulating commands over a time window. In this case, I'm using a half second. So every half second, uh, this accumulation of commands is um, <laughs> you guys lost. Uh, this accumulation of commands is kind of turned into one single command based on whichever was most popular. And then the board is changed to reflect that command. Um, we can try playing again. If you guys are you guys like, now that you've seen the game, you kind of have an idea. Maybe try to work together to actually beat it. I, I didn't know how long it would take a lot of people to do it. I could do it in like maybe 15 seconds solo. So I gave you 30-ish seconds to do it together. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much the premise of it. Some challenges I ran into. Actually, this chat really destroyed me um, in terms of CSS. I learned a lot during this project. And uh, just little things. Uh, the chat actually, there's nothing on the back end representing messages and such. And actually, so if I just joined a new if I was a new player and I joined right now, I should be getting the current state of the game, but I guess my board is, oh wait, did we lose already? Oh, we lost already. All right, I'll just try this one more time. Um, so if I refresh this page, I should be getting the game as it's going. Uh, so new players can just join in whenever they want. Um, they won't be able to see the old messages. Uh, I have like some auto scrolling here, and if you scroll up, then it won't scroll you anymore, which I think is kind of essential for this kind of fast-moving chat app. And that's the basics of it. I, you guys are pretty close, but I don't think you're going to win. Nice try. Um, and that's my app. <laughs>